Hello, you too. Isn't that beautiful? That's Johann Sebastian Bach. The Well-Tempered Piano, book number two. The Counterpoint, the Counterpoint. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but uh, Bach basically took some folk songs on one hand and another one on another and wove them together in counterpoint. Masterful. Of course, he created also his own tunes, but and some were not documented then from from what was going around. So uh, it has to be, and I think many musicians would say he was the best that ever was. You know, if God was just about to say, I've had enough of you lot, you do everything wrong, and I'm gonna wipe you out and start again, we would play this, and he'd say, oh, okay, there is hope. He would forgive us. One man, 300 years ago, It's a cooler day out here, but there's a chirp in the bird song which says, you know, spring gets nearer. One of the cherry trees is already blooming, it's too, too early. I don't know if you can see that. There is the counterpoint in action. see it? That means that it's very challenging to play Bach very well because your mind has to think in two consecutive melodies and time them together. I think it's one of the most difficult composers to play well. At least I never could play it well. But beautiful, isn't it? Smoking, I'm returning to the roots, of course, I jarred this up in smaller jars from the first tub I had and uh, every now and again it comes into the rotation and it's still my favourite, I'm sorry, all the aromatics I've tried so far, good, very good, some excellent. Excellent plus, what can you say? James Fox of Ireland. Oh, they're sort of own store pipes, about 40 pounds or something like that. Not, not that expensive. Lovely, lovely briar in a rustic style. Simple, but very nice. I think it's Sir Francis Drake, because I'm still waiting for my tampers from uh, ram's horn to arrive and they always seem to come by a very slow boat and i hope in the next few days or coming week i'll have them because i still owe one gore person his tamper he's very patiently agreed to wait which i'm grateful for and then i'll have my own sir walter raleigh tamper
well this morning, I don't have anything to tell you or show you. <laughs> I just thought I'd chat, you know, about this or that, like you do in the pub, in the, in the lounge, smoking lounge, or in the pub, yeah. Tomorrow is John Panzer Day, so I'm meeting with Jean in the mountains um, near Lucerne. It's going to be epic. We're planning some stuff together. Because actually Switzerland has not been uh, very thoroughly sort of shown in YouTube for the uh, tobacconists and um, pipe shops and pipe makers. So we're thinking on that. One or two people have gone to Mr. Roth, who has his own tobacco making. One of my first pipes came from, from Roth, the Buck Fabric. So we definitely would like to look in there. I bought some tobacco from him as well. Swiss tobacco. And I showed recently the witchy pipes, didn't I? But there's, there's other pipe makers out there that we must uh, give some Oh, just out of interest how they do it and, and what their style is and why they became a pipe maker, you know, a pipe maker. Maybe someone would like to buy their pipes, let's see. You know, it's curious, isn't it? You, you go all over tobaccos and explore more expensive, less expensive, famous, uh, renowned, and, uh, and it's very individual for all of us, all you out there and me, there's just one that you fall in love with, isn't there? That you, you it's, it's you. It's the match. It's like uh, falling in love with your wife or a woman. It's, I will never, never let this go. I ordered four tubs, large tubs, to make sure I got reserves, you know, and I ration it out until I, until I finally end up in the pipe smoking lounge above us. It's a little bit blustery today, but it's not, you know, really windy. It's cool, but mild, the softness in the air. It's, it's cloudy, but bright enough and not rainy, so, you know. I've seen some very good uh, videos about people's own tobacconists, where they live or one not far away. And I love, I love that when they go in there and just browse around, you know, have a little chat with the guy that runs it, and he tells his history of, you know, he, his dad set this up or when he took it over and, and so forth, you know. They're a treasure, you know, I really hope there's a way to survive in the future because I, it would be a tragedy if we finally have none. But, you know, in a perverse way, like the new law that's going through the Senate in America may give a resurgence of brick and mortar tobacconists, you know, sort of silver lining on a black cloud of, but let's see. My nearest one is Mr. Steinman. There's actually a very small place uh, not far in the next town, but it's so 
you know, small one pipes and tobacco. It's got, you know, whiskey and it's got a lot of cigarettes and some cigars and it's sort of miniature, you know. And of course he has Swiss prices, which are like, you know, so one problem here is uh, the air is expensive, you know. You have to, everything seems about double what you find in a lot of other countries, you know. No complaints So it's a beautiful country, it's very well run, it's oozing with history and culture and fine things, so I'm grateful to live here. Notice when one or two good friends on YouTube are getting a sort of bit down, you know, for various reasons and things around them. And I always think that happens towards the mid and end of winter, you know. It's, you need sun, you need, you need the spring to come and the sun to blow every, all the bacteria, all the viruses, blow them all away, all our worries. I've always said because the Mediterranean countries, people are sort of, you know, chirpy and happy and singing, you know, a lot of the time anyway. And further towards the Arctic Circle you go and eternal winter uh, comes, uh, depression is really a big thing and, you know, the only way you've got to treat it is vodka, you know. Which of course is a total exaggeration of everything, but Still, I think sunlight, it's primeval. I think it's in our genes. It's like being warming yourself by a fire that's been drilled into us over you know, 100,000 years of the evolution of man from squatting in a cave as, as a sort of ape, you know, to finally whoever it was hit the flint and the sparks flew and he says this is warmth, this is light. There must have been one first time specific. Imagine it, it was, came from one primitive man who found fire, you know. What a moment. history books. Maybe it was, I don't know, fire, that's interesting. How far back is it documented that we had control of fire? Let's see, Homo sapiens, Homo erectus. It can only be tens of thousands of years probably, you know, maybe 50,000 years. Did we have it before then? Was it only 30,000 years ago in the glaciation period? That would have helped it happen, of course. It was damn cold then. I'm curious about that. If anyone knows the answer, I love these fast pieces by Buck. Now that is dexterity. Look at that. I could never get there. Even these simple pieces, slower pieces, I struggled with.
Right, well it was just a quickie for a Sunday morning. Working on a couple of things, but um, just wondering about my next pistol video, if anyone has got a preference of what I should uh, show in calibre or uh, could show my Brugger and Toman, which is the largest pistol. Basically, uh, it's not an automatic, so it's not a machine gun, but it, it was designed that it could be that, but it's been adjusted to be semi-automatic, as is only allowed under normal uh, handgun license in Switzerland. And it's very accurate. It's one of the few that I start at uh, 20 meters because there's no point in shooting any nearer. Or I could show my uh, Walter PPK and the Manurin sister of it. 7.65 millimeter, 32 ACP. Or some of my um, 25 ACP mouse guns could be interesting. Let me know. If you've got any ideas there, what you prefer. Ah, it's just marvellous, isn't it? Right, with that, I bid you a very happy Sunday and a lovely week to come. And March is just round the corner, Easter not far after that, so uh, the good times and the warm times and the sunny times are coming. Take care everyone.